As the case with all management models, the theory may come easily, but execution can be tough. The same goes with Six Sigma. To assist with Six Sigma deployment, we can follow the Six Sigma maturity model. The Six Sigma maturity model provides a structured, phased approach to implementing Six Sigma over five logical stages. This methodology helps Six Sigma practitioners, deployment leaders, and executives achieve a number of objectives, which include Benchmark where their companies stand in relation to broader patterns experienced by other organizations. Assess the areas of strength and performance gaps in their deployments. Pinpoint specific steps they might take to close gaps and graduate to the next stage of their Six Sigma journey. Communicate progress to their Six Sigma teams and to the broader community within their companies to garner support for their continuous improvement efforts. As mentioned, there are five stages of maturity in Six Sigma adoption and development. Launch is the first stage. In the early onset, there are only a few visionaries in the organization who decide to launch Six Sigma. The focus is on training and launching a few initial projects. The second stage is early success. By this second stage, the initial projects are yielding results and early successes are being achieved. The third stage is scale and replication. The early success has led to other parts of the organization buying into Six Sigma and a broader launch of projects is underway. The next stage is institutionalization. By now, throughout the organization, projects are yielding broad-based financial impact. People are seeing, understanding, and realizing the value of Six Sigma. The final fifth stage is lean culture transformation. By this final stage of maturity, Six Sigma is part of the organizational DNA. Financial impact is sustained, and the Six Sigma culture is pervasive. We can envision these five stages in a stepwise diagram, as depicted on this PowerPoint slide. Now, let's take a slightly deeper dive into these stages. In the initial launch stage, Six Sigma is launched within an enterprise, the launch usually occurs with the help of an external consulting and training firm. Consultants typically preside over initial executive and champion sessions designed to establish the potential impacts of Six Sigma on business operations, revenues, costs and the company culture. There is buy-in to start the initial training sessions to get a core group of Six Sigma black belts and master black belts who will lead the initial projects. Organizations generally appoint a vice president or director of Six Sigma who reports to an executive sponsor and whose charter is to ensure a successful deployment of Six Sigma. The launch stage typically lasts from three to nine months. At the second stage of early success, the initial projects are well underway and many have been completed. Improvements have already demonstrated significant financial and other benefits. The support that was given to the initial team is being validated by the early results. The key difficulty is to ensure these initial projects are completed in a reasonable time and that they have meaningful financial impact on the business. Typically, companies stay at this level between 6 and 18 months. At the third stage of scale and replication, the company has experienced solid success from the initial deployment, and other parts of the company are buying into Six Sigma. This is the stage where the Six Sigma effort really scales across the company and gathers momentum. Many waves of training are in progress across many parts of the company. Projects are being pursued in multiple organizations, such divisions, plants, units, etc. Organizations stay at this stage typically from one to three years. At stage four, institutionalization, it is not just replication of the success of another organization but replication of the success within each organization in the company. There is enough financial impact from projects in each organization that meaningful comparisons can be made between organizations on average project impact, average cycle time, total impact, etc. The Six Sigma processes have become institutionalized throughout the company. This stage can last two to four years, if not longer. At the last stage of lean culture transformation, the organization has had sustained success with Six Sigma for a long period. Six Sigma is embedded in the company DNA. The methodologies of Six Sigma are applied not just to Six Sigma projects and by people trained in Six Sigma, but throughout all execution processes. 
Six Sigma also has been applied to the extended enterprise, which includes customers, vendors, distribution chain, and supply chain for mutual benefit across all collaborations and partnerships. The culture is data-driven, process and metrics oriented and focused on financial impact. Do you want to dive even deeper into the Six Sigma maturity model? We have a link to a detailed PowerPoint presentation on this framework in the video description. To learn more about how to deploy Six Sigma, we have a multitude of training guides, templates, posters, and other tools on in our Lean Six Sigma Business Toolkit, which we have linked to in the video description. In fact, in the video description, we have included links to frameworks on all the key management concepts discussed in this video. If you are interested in learning more about different Lean Six Sigma tools, such as Demaic Problem Solving, Kaizen, process risk analysis, statistical process control, and so forth, please let us know in the comments. If you enjoy these types of videos on business frameworks, methodologies, and management models, then be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Also, check out flevy.com directly for thousands of best practice business frameworks and tools. We regularly publish videos like this one across a multitude of management topics, from rapid process improvement to manufacturing to strategic sourcing.